Okay. I think I got this correct. Well, I'm just going to go for it. Take these off. And greetings, everyone. Welcome to my first live ever. <laughs> I just feel like this is the time for the community to come together and share our gifts. What it is it for each one of us to put out in the world, put out in the community to support each other in these times. And so I thought about it the last few days and I wanted to offer this for the first time. I usually teach in the park on Saturdays and at the Soul of Yoga on Mondays. And I thought today um, to do this in the Hermit Hut, as my friend Ari Marsh does, and teach you some really good Tigon to help with the immune system. So that's what we're going to do today. So what I'd like to start off with for the about 10, 15 minutes, just some warm ups, just to loosen the body up, get the flows open, get the gates, which are the joints. So then the Chi can flow much smoother. So let's just start. Let's begin. And what we're going to do is you're going to stand shoulder width with your legs. Slight bend in the knees. Look down at the earth. And in any direction, you're going to inhale, lifting up, doing neck rolls in through the nostrils. Exhale out through the mouth as you come down. And I think this is the time I'm going to put my hair tie on. So just keep going. Inhale through the nostrils as you come up, using the breath to lift you. Exhale out through the mouth. And if you want more of a stretch, grab your wrist behind your back. Inhaling. <sighs> Exhaling. So the whole idea is starting to pump the body full of fresh chi, prana, mana, life force. And everything's at your own pace. It's not about keeping up with me. It's about your own flow. How you roll in life. Let's do one more. Exhale. Pause. Look at the earth. Inhaling opposite direction. Lifting up with the breath. Exhale out through the mouth. Slow, easy. Unwinding all that stress. Inhaling through the nostrils. Exhale out through the mouth. Inhale fresh prana. Exhale out toxins. Alkalizing, inhale, exhale, acid. And one more. Pause, look at the earth, inhaling, lifting head straight up. Exhale, just relax everything. And now we're gonna do shoulder rolls. I think it's getting warm for me. So it's time to take the jacket off. So we're going to do shoulder rolls and I'm going to do different positions so you can see how it's done. So you're going to roll this way. And you're going to pinch the shoulder blades. So coming back, up, and forward. This is squeezing the lymphs in the neck as well. It's a multi-task of different movements that this does. And I'm undulating my body as well. And then reverse. And remember to breathe. If you're holding your breath, that means you're thinking too much. This is supposed to be happy, relaxed, and fun. So just inhale, lifting up, forward, top, behind. Pinch the shoulder blades. Inhale. And let's do one more. Nice. And then what we're going to do is put your arms out. You're going to do slow, easy circles. And if you're physically able to any of these exercises, or you can modify them or stay here, you eventually allow them to flail, hinge at the shoulder. So 
So Qigong likes humor because it likes flow, right? So this is called Golden Chicken Take Flight. <laughs> really humor. Keep it going. Keep breathing. And then reverse. Opening up the lungs. Nice. And then what we're going to do is hip rotations. So do big circles. Unlocking the hips. We're usually blocked from the waist down. This is the way to get earth chi up. It's a good way to get the blood flow into the feet so you have circulation. And then reverse. This is a preventative. This is one of the three branches of TCM, traditional Chinese medicine. You have herbs, acupuncture, and qigong. And then we're going to do slow ones, tight ones, where you're doing the pelvis. So it's, and this really gets into it deeper. And then reverse. Nice. Put your palms on your knees for support. We're going to do knee rotations. And just rotate those knees. <clears throat> and then reverse the direction. Nice. Okay, we're going to stop the whole bottom of your foot, your left foot first, and then your right foot first, first second, I mean. Nine times, what we're doing is we're activating the kidney one point, the bubbling spring. Start to waken the chi in the body. So do your left foot first. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess horses know what they're doing, right? Okay, this is a balancing act. Lift up your right leg, and how I stay balanced is I focus on something on the floor. You can use your hands, your arms as balance as well. Lift up your leg, you're gonna rotate your ankle in one direction. And then opposite direction. And next we're gonna have the hip rotating in. And the hip rotating out. Opening, unlocking the joints, lubricating. Nice. Other side, same thing. Lift up the leg, ankle. And then opposite direction. And then hip rotating in. And then hip rotating out. Nice. Palms together. This is called Buddha Splash's Face. Get a little air in here. It's getting hot. Palms in prayer position. Palms face your face. Always keep contact with your hand at all times. The back of the hands to the wrist squeeze as you're getting the lymphatic pump. Come down, come back up, contact at all times, back to prayer, splash face, come down. Now add the breath, inhaling up, exhale down, squeeze. Inhaling up, squeeze. Splash face, back of hands, squeeze. Exhale as you come down. Let's do one more. And then back to prayer. This time opposite direction, palms facing out. Back of hands, squeeze up the midline. Back to prayer.
one last one one more nice. we're gonna do our wrist so we're gonna inhale exhale squeeze hold inhale other side exhale squeeze hold inhale squeeze hold inhale squeeze hold and this time it's reverse inhale squeeze hold inhale squeeze hold and just shake it out okay now we're going to do the meridians on the fingers there's meridians that run in each finger and we're going to take your middle finger your forefinger your thumb for support and you're going to go to the base of the finger to the tip of the finger I like to do it in front, it's an easy position. And you just go back and forth and squeeze, squeeze a little bit on the thumb, but enough, you're getting some friction from the base to the tip of the finger to then off the tip. Back and forth, back and forth, and off. And after you get your one of those hands done, notice those fingers compared to the other hand. That's the microcosm of the whole body, what's happening with Qigong. A lot looser, a lot stiffer. Same thing, other side. <clears throat> so we're just doing the warm-ups got another five ten minutes and then we're going to do some qigong this is just the preliminary just to get things flowing and rolling nice piano guitar <laughs> and another good thing to have is a mala i've had this is a more advanced spiky mala i've been rolling malas for about 30 years and you roll your foot on it and it touched the uh the reflexology, the acupuncture points, keeps your foot really flexible and young and helpful and vital as it relates to the organs. So I recommend Amazon just get a a foot mala, foot roller, and roll on these. Very nice. Oh, by the way, this is a really nice. This is a bamboo split piece of wood, so it, it's not like a hard part of it, or it would hurt. And the reason I use this is for lymphatics. I take this on journeys when I drive long distance and I have stagnation. Wake up the chi and the kidneys and on the body. So there's a whole method to this, but that's the basics of why I love the stuff. Because you want, the whole idea of the Qigong is keeping the flows open. And part of the flows is really the lymphatics. And the chi can move much fluid through the channels, through the blood, through the lymphs, through the organs the whole system and we revitalize the cells if we have supposedly I don't know how they figured out 70,000 70 trillion cells who thought of that who figured that out but they did figure out which makes sense is each cell is 1.4 millivolts electricity so you do a qigong or earthing things of that nature you're amplifying your cells you're amplifying your health and that's what you want you want to do things like that so qigong is one of my health benefits for longevity Keeping healthy, especially in these times. Okay, so where are we at? Um, okay, here's one. Here's a really good one. I love this one. This is one of my favorites. Some of you might have a hard time with this one, but this is a um, very, very good for the digestive and for the kidneys and for the bladder. So you come down in prayer. I don't know if you can see me. You put your elbows inside your knees and spread, and you're squatting. And if you have a wider, little wider stance, you could go, you can go flat. I don't know where I'm at, flat foot. So we just hold here. And this is a must if you're going to uh, places like India or your SLL, right? <laughs> I like to do a little spinal twist. I'm just hanging out here for a moment. I like a little bounce in it. Really opens up the bladder, meridian. And then the next thing we're going to do is get, do the cat cow. If you like to do the cat cow, this is really good for the spine. Starts to lubricate, open up the spine, especially the meridians and that in the back of the front channels, which we'll do more of that in a moment. The ren and the do channels, conceptional and governor. So do your cat cow. We can just do a few of these.
flexible spine, as they say, is a flexible life. A couple more. Last one. And then get into a downward dog. So the whole idea is to have your feet flat. And if you can't have your feet flat, bend your knees a little bit or walk your feet up towards your hands. Relax your neck and head. And on your next exhale, push your palms in the floor, lift your hips up in the air. So you get a nice elongated stretch. So we're gonna do this for about 30 seconds. <clears throat> Not very long. You can do a variation if you want. Feels good. And then walk your feet up towards your hands, interlock your arms for a lower back stretch. Remember to drop your neck and head so the energy can flow, not lock up. Put your palms on your thighs, rolling slowly each vertebrae up. Eventually put your hands behind your lower back for a reverse stretch. And then when you feel comfortable, come back. We're almost there, we got two more moves. Okay, this one is a tapping Qigong. This is gonna start opening up the meridians even more. So you want, is a wide stance because you gotta get inside here. So there's 12 main meridians, and we're going to do the lower six, and we're going to do the upper six. And then again, we'll do the front and back channels as well. So we'll do uh, 12 plus the front and back. So this one looks like this. Inhaling, fist, exhale, bend straight leg, and you're tapping as low as you can by your tailbone, but never on your spine. And as your hands come up, you tap, you stand up, bend your knees, and then lower back. So it looks like this. Tap. As my hands come up, I stand up, I bend my knees to relax my lower back, tap my kidneys, right? And then beginners, I would recommend open palms if you feel comfortable, fist that gets more in there, but you want to not hit the bones, you want to hit the fleshy, meaty part. And so I'll just do a bit open palms just to show you. I come down the side of the legs, inside the ankles, inside the thighs, and then fist to the pelvis. This is where all the lengths meet. And this is an important spot right here. It's not on your legs, it's not on your belly yet, but right here. Then the belly open. I'm going from right to left. That's how the digestion goes. Okay, let's do, let's just do three of those. I usually do nine, but we'll just do three today. Ready? Inhaling. Exhale. Tap. Stand up. Bend your knees, lower back. Gallbladder meridian, stomach meridian, UB, inside ankle, kidney, spleen, liver, lymph, belly, the organs. Two more. Inhale, exhale. Coming up the bladder meridian to the kidney, the gallbladder, the stomach. Kidney, spleen, liver, lymph. Last one. This time, tap a little longer and a little harder. If you feel any pain, that means there's just obstruction. There's stagnation. We're opening those flows, so you have more of a, a chi flow. Like a guard hose is bent, barely any water you can get through. It's an analogy or a metaphor of seeing your flows open. So this is helping the flows because the, the whole point is to feed the whole body. And if your, your meridians are blocked, then you're sick or you're stagnant, or you're depressed, and different emotional issues, because the nourishment is not getting to the organ, and it creates the opposite of, of the good feeling, because each organ has a good feeling emotion and a bad emotion. We're gonna transmute those. That's another video another time, but for now, let's just do one more, and I'll talk about that another time, so. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. Tap a little harder, a little longer.
Nice. Now we're going to smooth out the directions of the flow of the chi. So we come to the back of the legs, inside the legs, off the thigh, off the, off the pelvis right here. So come down three times fast. This is how the chi flows. Okay, that's the lower six. Now we're going to do the upper six. So take your left arm, a little bend in the elbow, take your right hand on your fingertips, all the way up to the shoulder. Then turn your arm over and come down. Same thing, other side. Up. Turn it over, down. Go at your own pace. Bend your knees. Happy to relax. Slow, deep breaths. slight sweat that's where it's working I like just to go there not over we're gonna smooth out the same way did the the lower six we're gonna do the upper six fast up the arm turn over down fast three times other side same thing and then the last movement is shaking Qigong so just start shaking there's a few variations this way I'm bouncing from my knees and allowing myself to go ragdoll and my elbows, my wrists, deep, slow belly breaths, in through the nostrils, out through the mouth, <sighs> detoxifying as well. You can do it front, you can do it this way, you can do it this way. Get creative. Both jump up and down, Hare Krishna style, rave style, whatever works. And if you notice, if you move your head and neck a little bit more, you don't think as much. You get out of the thinking. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Wake and shake. This is a whole Qigong in itself. But we're only going to do 30 seconds more. Find different ways. Create new a neuro set. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Heart rate's up, so don't stop all of a sudden. Just slow it down little by little. Little by little. If you ever feel dizzy, just slow down or stop. Because you don't want to pass out. It's too much prana in the brain until you work up to it. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is this is going to get into the bones, the bone marrow, ligaments, tendons, and muscles. This is an exercise we normally don't do. It awakens the chi, awakens the white blood cells, gets the immune system pumping. So what this looks like is you get, I don't know if you can see my feet, there we go. Get on your tiptoes and land really hard on your heels, ragdoll. <sighs> Allow everything to go. And then the last part is the breath from the gut. <sighs> the breath. That's part of the purging, the letting go. So let's do it together, ready? Inhale, exhale. Land hard on those heels. Waking that chi. Move in stagnation. Waking the white blood cells. Strengthen the immune system. Three more, hang in there. Last one. In the back, the shaking again. We shake it off, whatever's left. Shake it out, anything that might be left. Find different shakes, different movements. Shake it all up. Get crazy shaking. Whew. 
15 seconds. And again, heart rate's up, so slow down little by little. Don't stop. <sighs> Deep, slow breaths. Calming down. The last move is your own personal move. So whatever your body's feeling it needs, just move it. We're going to have one minute. And for those that feel comfortable with what I've helped you with and guiding you, you can have a little tea. A little puer. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Okay. So let's get back in our Qigong stance, which means shoulder width. I don't know if you can see my feet. I can't even see. There we go. Shoulder width. I can barely see my screen. Knees bent. Spine in, tailbone in. Spine straight, I mean, tailbone in. Come around like you're holding bags of groceries if you can get any, right? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> it's like holding a big belly. And if you notice, look down. If your thumbs are up, that means you're trying too hard or thinking too hard. Relax those thumbs. It's just everything's soft, easy, flowing. And you want to be like crab-like. You don't want to have your elbows in. It's blocking the chi flow like the garden hose. Open up. Round. So it looks like this. You have round here between my fingertips, round internally here, and then round behind. So everything's round. It's not like this, or like this, or like this. Those are different things, but this particular one, we're holding the ball at the lower Dantian, which is near your belly button. I like to line it up with my thumbs. It could be a little below or right there by your belly button. And everybody is different. Just find what feels right for you. And the idea here is to breathe deep. Exhale through the mouth a couple times, relaxing the shoulders and the arms, where you're just barely holding yourself up. Eventually, you feel your own energy field, your own body, your own chi basically is holding you up and you will create a big strong chi field after a while of doing qigong. You start to feel it and eventually we're going to feel it today. Some might not, that's okay, but you're going to feel different sensations. So it's exciting. So let's just breathe here in and out through the nostrils now only. Through the belly, in, inhaling through the belly, expanding, exhale out. And as we start to calm and relax and allow the beingness. So the next components I'm going to add is the tongue of the roof of the mouth behind the front of the teeth. This creates a connection to the microcosmic orbit. It's a switch on like a light switch for the Ren and Dew channels to connect. I've been doing this for probably about 30 some odd years. If I'm not talking, I'm connected. Just a little tip. So as you're breathing in and out through the nostrils calmly, as your belly expands with the inhale, exhaling, collapsing towards the back of your spine, tongue to the roof of the mouth, grasp the earth with your toes for a second. Activate the kidney one channel to anchor in Spiral in energetically into the earth as deep as you like to go to feel Panchamama, Gaia. Feeling the security, the safety. She's got your back. Feeling home. Feeling centered. Feeling at ease. And at the same time, she's feeding you up through your feet into your body. Feeling this prana, this life force. It's subtle, but you can feel it eventually. And then the last ingredient to make the chi lift and rise and circulate even more is a slight smile. Put a little slight smile, you feel that chi lift.
And on your next inhale, as you exhale, slowly open your eyes. Inhaling, opening, expanding. Exhale, closing, condensing. Timing the breath with the movement. So if your mind is ever wandering, that means you're thinking. And if you're thinking, that means your movements are too fast. Slow down your movements so your mind can relax. Because if you go too fast, it just leaves you. It just, you go somewhere else. And the whole idea is to stay internal. We're so external all the time. This is a way to become internal. To start to have a relationship with your internals, with your organs, with your sensations giving you feedback. And on that note, giving you feedback. On the external, it looks like I'm just opening my hands and arms and closing. Yes, true. Yet there's something else greater going on. Besides, yes, true, creating the chi, the chi field, the chi ball. We're creating this chi ball out of nothing. We're gonna be playing with this chi ball. But what's happening is, if you can close your eyes, go within, and as you inhale, opening, you're expanding the universe within your second brain, which is really your first brain, your intuition. Opening the spaces that are dense, known or unknown, creating more space. And as you exhale, you're condensing, contracting, purifying, cleansing this stuff that no longer serves you, these stories, these emotions. And you're just squeezing them out like a sturdy sponge. You're inhaling, opening, bringing more light, more space, embodying more of your knowing. Just stay with the sensation without labeling. Just feel. You might start feeling the tingling and buzzing in your hands. You might feel a vibration, heat, cold. Just notice. That's all you'd have to do right now. Just notice. And keep breathing. You inhale as you open. Exhale as you close. And you can close your eyes for this and just start to tap into your own chi field. And just see the stars, the galaxy within as you expand, bringing more light, more spaciousness and condensing, clearing, cleansing, purifying as you condense, as you contract. So there's an A and B to this. We're doing part A right now. Just take notice. Have a baseline of how you're feeling, what's going on internally and externally, in and around you, the sensations, that's it. going to go into part B in a moment. And part B continues what you're doing, but you're going to notice something might be different. There might be a different sensation or different awareness that will come in. This is a deepening. So here comes part B. On your next exhale, come back holding the ball. Just close your eyes, go within, just notice what you notice. Feel what you feel. And on your next inhale, as you exhale, slowly open your eyes. 
And if you want to make comments on that later, you can. If you notice something, it's good to hear feedback where everybody's at, because there was definitely something that did take place. And it'd be nice to hear from different students or different people out there, because I have students and, and new people that I haven't met or haven't experienced uh, what I do. So the next movement is this. We're going to rotate the ball. Your fingers are facing each other, and you're rotating this ball forward. And again, it's internal too as well. It's going through your belly. And it's not too fast, it's not too slow. And you'll start to feel this magnetism, like two north poles of magnets opposing each other. You'll feel it, I feel it right here. This is creating a nice strong chi body. Charging those cells, those 70 trillion cells. Amping them up. Creating longevity and health and preventative. And Wei Chi field, which is a protective field against any sicknesses and negativity. That's the other reason why I do Qigong. And then reverse it towards you. You might feel a different sensation, maybe even stronger. And remember to keep breathing, relaxing, slight smile, easy going, effortless. And then again, forward. And this time, hand over hand, this is called the Lao Gung point. It's the center of your palm. Center of your palm over the center of your palm, rotating this chi ball through the belly as well, externally, internally, rotating. Keep those thumbs relaxed. Keep those knees bent. By keeping the knees bent, it relaxes the body, but also puts pressure on the meridians, open them up even more. So even the lower you go, the, uh, the more uh, discharge, more of a release in the body. You're, you're opening up the, the meridians even more, the more of the flow. And then for ladies, left hand over right, men, right hand over left. Store the chi, known or unknown, just close your eyes, go into your lower dantian and store this chi. And on your next exhale, slowly open your eyes. Palms will slide off to the side of you, absorbing earth chi. And your hands should be slightly round to pull up the earth chi through the lagoon points. If they're flat, you're discharging chi, you're getting rid of chi. You don't want to do that, you want to absorb chi. You want to absorb this vitality. And grasp the earth with your toes for, for a second to activate again, root in again, and pull up earth chi through the feet. So it looks like this sideways. And you pull it up chi, <clears throat> absorbing earth chi. And then now see, feel, and notice every pore of your body, every part of your body is opened up like little mouths, absorbing chi 360 degrees all around you, pulling it in, breathing it in, filling you up recharging <clears throat> with a slight smile that'll help the chi move around much more and lift You'll notice when your mind starts to blank or go somewhere else, that's a metaphor for life. How much love can you handle? How much chi can you handle? How much chi can you absorb? There's more than enough for the end of time. So just drop in again, 
and allow the absorption to come in. It's a reflection of your own self-love. How much can you handle? How much do you deserve? How much can you receive? Allow that to come in. Filling you up. You might see color. You might feel a vibration. On your next inhale, exhale, slowly open the eyes and just relax. Just notice that. So I'm taking you through different stages. And the idea is to notice sensations, which are aspects of yourself through awareness. So this is really cool stuff besides the health benefits. Um, what I'm going to do with you guys next, um, let's open up the front and back channels a little bit more. This will lubricate and open up the spine the cerebral spinal fluid, the lymphs, and the meridians. So I'm going to do that super slow and then jump in when you feel comfortable. And at one point, I'm going to say do several fast ones. You're going to double the speed. And anytime you feel dizzy, slow down or stop. Okay, this is going to pump a lot of prana in the brain. And uh, so this looks like this. You inhale at the, in the nose right here. Open up to the heavens of the world. Arch, opening up the spine, throat, exhaling, curving the spine to the knees, all the way down. Most important, don't have your neck up like this. You'll lock the energy. You want the energy to move through the spine, out through the head. I don't know if you can see me. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Jump in. Inhale, exhale. Now pump several fast ones. One more. And then slow it down. Three more. Last one. And on this very, very last one, you inhale up and allow your arms to float back down, holding the ball. Close your eyes, go within. What's happening? What's alive in you now? What do you notice? Internal, internal. The subtleties. And on the next inhale, exhale, just relax. I'm going to do give you guys a little taste of, um, of the energy of chi. I mean, we kind of did it on the fingers. You felt the difference, right? We're going to do more of the energetics, even more so. And this is what you could do for your animals or your loved ones. Just hands-on healing without taking chi from you personally or burning you out, your jing, or just, you know, making you tired. You want to be able to do, you want to be able to open the ball, the feel, turn the, turn the ball. Those are the three main movements. And you do that for about five minutes at least to, or until you feel the chi until you feel your hands vibrating and you're building up chi so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a little break in between so we're going to do something slower right now or meditate this is a medical qigong there's medical qigong for healing there's a personal qigong for your own self-healing and then there's the martial arts qigong and they're all pretty much derived from nature the seasons in fighting arts. So if you have any background in that, you can relate the two. That's how I started. I did martial arts when I was in my 20s. And then Qigong was very simple segue, easy for me. Um, 
So this one looks like this. So everybody just stand to the side, your arms relax, shake it for a second. Go within, take a base notice, and just feel internally and externally your left arm. Just notice where it's at. And then notice your right arm and hand from the shoulder down. Just notice the sensations. And once you have your base of both, give me a thumbs up or a heart, everybody, so I know where everybody's at. So we can go to the next movement. Let's see. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Put out your left arm. I'll go to the side so you can see better. Take your right hand. Come up the arm two, three inches away to the shoulder. Turn your arm over, come down. Now you're going to add the breath work. Inhaling as you come up. Exhale as you come down, pushing it out. So now the visualize, see it, feel it, in timing with all. The visualization, the intention, the breath. It's not too fast, not too slow. Inhaling, lifting up. This is where the pathway of the meridians flow. Exhale down. few more. Last one. Now close your eyes again, go to your side, notice your left arm and hand. What do you notice differently? What's alive in you now? That's just a little bit. And then notice your right side. So now you have contrast, what's happening. And that's the chi. That's the life force. And that's what you can do for hands-on healing with another person or an animal. And let's do, let's balance it out. Let's do the right side now. So inhale up, exhale down. Time in the intention, the attention, with the breath, with the movement, wherever your attention goes, chi flows, wherever chi flows, blood flows, and where blood flows, you manifest. So you manifest. Couple more. Last one. Go to your side, close your eyes, notice your right side, and then compare it to the left. It might be equal or one stronger than the other. Just notice and feel the sensations, what's happening. <clears throat> and on the next inhale, exhale, slowly open your eyes. Do you guys like that? That's just a, a slight variation of uh, some medical Qigong that I also do, but it gives you a little taste. I'm actually going to teach it uh, an event at the Soul of Yoga in June, if, <laughs> if it's still happen and maybe I'll do it here at my home but uh, yeah we'll go more in depth than that so let's see the next thing we want to do is uh, let's get some lymph flowing here so this one's a good this was a this is one of the first Qigongs I ever learned uh, many years ago I think I was 29 in Sedona this is called Wuchi Dao it's based on the crane and the cranes representation of longevity and this is for particularly for the length. So, and I love doing this in groups. We're in a circle together because the whole idea of this is community, right? So we're doing we'll do it over this 
<laughs> this Facebook Live. So what this looks like is like the karate kit, you take all five fingers, pulling up earth chi into the crane. Pulling it up, right foot comes out in front of you. I don't know if you can see my feet. I can't even see the screen, so I don't know, I'm just guessing. So pull it up and then push. So your spine's straight, you're not over this way, you're not out of balance. Of course, and again, this is all based on martial arts. If you're out of balance, you're gonna be off, you know, you're gonna be out of balance. <laughs> so pull it up like Karate Kid, exhale, push, drop your wrist, front of the chi ball, top of the chi ball, behind the chi ball, push. Drop your wrist, inhaling up as high as you can, behind, and your foot comes back and pushes. Drop your wrist, inhaling, lifting up high, exhale, push. Inhale. So I'm going to add one other thing. It's a little uncomfortable, but it really works the length. So you want to be a praying mantis. Keep your elbow instead of out, keep them in and reach high to the sky. Drop your wrist, inhale, keep your elbows in, pray in mana style, exhale. And the martial application is block and a push because you're using the breath with the movement. A couple more. Reach high, keep your elbows in, two more. Last one. And then we go to the top and then we reverse it. Behind the ball, in front of the in top of the ball, and then in front of the ball. So you're grabbing the chi and filling up your lower dantian. Reaching up high, grabbing the chi, filling the lower dantian. Reach up high, keep your elbows in like the praying mantis again. And as you breathe in deep and lifting up, it's getting all the lower, middle, and upper lung. And this is all the respiratory. This is where the chi actually builds from, is the lungs. If you don't have good lungs, you don't have good, strong chi. I mean, it's all related as well, right? But so you just inhale, lift up high, stretch your arms up, keep your elbows in, a couple more. Last one. And then from here, you slide your right foot back and your hands come down to ground the energy. And pause for a second. And then we do begin the other side, the same thing. All five pranic fingers pulling up earth chi, left foot, heel, push. Drop your wrists, lifting up. Exhale. Inhale, lifting up high, filling the lungs up. Fresh prana, chi, mana, life force. Keep those elbows in, get a lymphatic pump. Wuchi Dao, crane method. There's a whole series in this as well. I'm just teaching part of this today. Keep your spine straight. This is strengthening our immune system purifying and helping the lymphs because the lymphs don't get cleansed unless you do movement or breath. Breath work helps too. So combining this movement with the breath, we're getting an extra cleanse power. Inhaling, elbows in, exhale, three more. Last one. And at the top, we're reverse it, scooping. Breathing deep through the nostrils, exhaling up through the mouth.
Three more. Last one. And from here, slide your left foot back, palms ground the energy. And just close your eyes, go within, just notice the inner terrain of your world and traverse this landscape and notice what you notice, feel what you feel. Ladies, left hand over right, men, right hand over left, store the chi. We're almost about winding it down here a few more minutes. On your next inhale, exhale slowly, open your eyes. We're going to rotate the chi ball that's in our belly from right to left this way, nine times. I'll count nine, you know, if you're not keeping track of yourself, stop. Take an inhale, exhale left to right, opposite direction, right? Nine times. Take another deep breath on the next exhale, right to left again. That's how we're going to do it. So we do from right to left nine, left to right nine, then right to left nine. Okay. So inhale, exhale. And if you want to push in, get your internal organs. You can push in your belly a little harder. Nine. Inhale, exhale, opposite direction. Nine. Inhale. Exhale, right to left. Nine. Inhale. Exhale. Relax. Okay, now we're going to supernova this chi ball that we collected here. And it's going to go all over inside of our body, supercharging every cell. And it looks like this, below your belly button. You're going to tap and lift your legs up. Nice. And we're going to close down the chi field, inhaling. Exhale. Slide your left to your right foot. Inhale. Coming down into a namaste for yourself for showing up. For everybody in the community, for everybody on the planet. May you be healthy. May you live long. May the chi be with you. And keep your practices going, whatever it is, to keep your health up and your attitude and positiveness. And one last thing I like to do is just rub your palms together. We're just going to um, clear off any other stagnation that might be around the body. So from the chin, hair, off. And again, over the eyes, the face. <sighs> nice, and just wipe it. Take your right hand, center of your chest, find this. Open palm, lung point, one. Shoulder, under the armpit, left, rib cage, other side, same thing. Lung point, armpit, lift. And then behind the knees with a fist. And then take your palms and pack your kneecap. Down the leg, up the leg, other side, same thing, kneecap. 
down, up, and then we wash off. This is the final part. And there we have it, folks. First time ever doing this, so kind of fun. And uh, we'll see more of this if we can do this more. And I know on Monday, uh, the Soul of Yoga, I'm doing one at 7.30 on Zoom. So you want to check with the Soul of Yoga. This one was my gift to you guys. Much love, much happiness, peace and prosperity to everybody.